Hello ladies and gents, welcome to the second part of the night uh, review of the new Captor. So this is the engineer package and in this video we're going to check out the exterior interior details at night. So let's go without further ado. Here's Captor at night, you can see those street lights. If I use the remote to turn on the headlights and unlock the car, uh, you can see when I unlock it, the daytime running lights kind of increase in brightness and I can use a remote to turn on the headlights. You can see the remote is very basic, but also uh, okay. Now uh, let's do a little walk around, around the car. Now these are quite good LED headlights. The performance is good. No fog lights on the front, unfortunately. You can see the car uh, just switches off when you lock it. But uh, once again, with the lights on, uh, to show you the profile of the car it looks also very uh, nice and i like the fact that you have those side lights as well it's good for safety of course and visibility and here's the back end so if i lock the car um, actually it is locked if i switch the lights off and if i unlock it you can see also in the back the rear lights kind of increase in brightness so that's a cool detail and you can turn on with the remote the rest of them now uh, let's check the cargo space starting from the back um, if I back up you can see that uh, very good illumination inside and you can see also if you need to access the spare tire or stuff below now just from another angle there looking quite nice I really like uh, the whole outside theme now to show the back I left my backpack there but you can see there are lights on the top there and you know it's good illumination unfortunately no footwell lights on the back the USBs do not uh, light up checking the front so well let me switch hands you have the ambient lights in the doors unfortunately only on the front ones and there's another ambient light down there so nothing on the dash now uh, this is in white and if you press here well when the ignition's on this goes red i'm going to show you that inside but i'm just checking here uh yeah so the rear button, when you open the front, opens, uh, excuse me, turns on. You can see that there. But again, nothing on the back regarding USBs and so on. Uh, just to show you here, you can see that. And uh, you can see that pocket there. Let's jump inside because it's pretty cold. Now, uh, once again, closer look at these. And there's buttons here. There's a heated steering wheel here. Now let me just turn on the ignition. We'll do that just in a moment. So you can see when the light is on. And let's press that. Let me just view this. So switching to wide lens. Now this is the night look. And there will be a separated point of view driving video with all of my impressions summoned in that video, how the car feels on the road. So zooming back in, we have beautiful uh, white dials there. So let me just turn on the engine because it's cold. So let's get some heating inside as well. There we go. Um, we might actually lower the fan speed there. And yeah, checking the steering wheel, we have uh, white illumination there. Uh, we have beautiful display. Uh, and for both of this place, you can um, control the brightness with this little guy. So let me just show you here, you can see how the display dims. So uh, both displays, you can dim that or increase the light. Uh, I'll just take this message off right there. There you go. Now uh, you can also adjust the headlight as you can see that. So that's over here and it shows you here on the left corner the height level 
Uh, now there's a lane assist here, and there is heated steering wheel mark right there. There's only one setting, it heats the whole uh, steering wheel. Um, yeah, and of course, it appears that the brightness uh, that's tied to the screen here is also tied to the uh, buttons here. Now over here you can engage the rear or disengage, but everything else is in white. This can change colors. Uh, AC is white. If you switch to EV mode, it goes red. Same with the car when it locks. AC also red. Close air circulation. Max blow is uh, amber. And yeah, this is kind of blue-ish, but on camera it might not look that like that. On the top you can see uh, those. Uh, you can also turn on the LEDs or off. And there's an emergency light. There is uh, light here, so you can see that. And let me just turn some light on in the interior. So you can see the whole interior with the lights on as well and the buttons uh, looking nice. So switch off and over here you can see you have a white uh, when you go to brake or drive, you can see the light switches, reverse, you can see the reverse cameras, uh, well, resolution is 2000, <laughs> but uh, the screen is 2023. Uh, it's good, it serves its purpose when you move the wheel, it shows the projections, so, you know, it's very decent. Uh, and press to park, those amber there. Uh, this is red and amber, and uh, that's pretty much it. Not to forget, of course, the uh, glove compartment, warm, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, uh, small detail in the infotainment. If you go to the My Sense, here you can see uh, edit current mode. So, just to show here, you can change the lights. So uh, this also changes the display. I showed that in the day review, so you can increase the brightness here. And, well, let me see if I can show you that uh, all at once. So you can switch off the side so you can only have the bottom here. So you can see it on the bottom there, changes the colors. But I'm just gonna keep on that and the screen so you can see all the colors. There's white, uh, kind of matches the uh, buttons there's blue green uh, also changes the color display there red there's this purple uh, kind of turquoise or pale blue and this yellow or uh, amber or orange so that's that and looks pretty good uh, I would prefer if they added some uh, ambient lights on the dash, but it is what it is. And to come back to the home screen, you can see here uh, map, navigation, this is a night mode. If we switch to this one, uh, to navigation, you can see navigation there. If I switch to, um, let's see, to the classical view here, you can see the navigation will switch to the middle there. So that is that. And uh, let me check here in. I wanted to show you the Apple CarPlay, of course. Um, just a moment to check the USB here. So I hope it's not gonna interrupt the recording. So the Apple CarPlay is now on the top here. I press and you can see that also it's actually quite nice. Now, let me just check here if I lower the brightness. Yeah, it lowers the brightness of the screen. Um, I'm saying this because a lot of car manufacturers don't do that, and this then shines too bright. So, it's also fairly responsive, sometimes laggy when I'm filming, but in this case, it works uh, quite okay. So, uh, you can use the embedded navigation there, or you can use the Apple CarPlay, and it works. Uh, nicely, I wish they added a wireless feature, but maybe something to add in the future. And 
that was it, um, more or less. So I can switch it off. I think I've showed you everything. So, yep. Uh, and let me, let me just show you the long beam. So that's the long beam there. And yeah, not to forget, uh, when you push the stock for the lights towards the uh, dash, you get automatic long beam and you can engage the, let me see here, uh, rear fog. So let me just exit and let me just turn all the hazards as well for you. Car is in park. Just to show you, uh, well, mostly the rear fog lights or the fog light, there's one on the back here. As you can see, I believe that the other ones, the reverse light, and you can see those beautiful lights. You can see the turn signal the side. Unfortunately, you can't see it from the driver perspective inside, but there you go. Looking nice. If you like this video, be a cool person. Smash the like button on the video. Leave your comments below how do you like the new cup tour at night and if you want to see more of this content do subscribe it's completely free and click the bell to get notified when i upload more videos thanks for watching stay safe see you in the next one bye